All right, guys, so it's now Saturday. The next day, I've gone through and counted the money. So another issue we need to fix is this guy right here won't quite fit a dollar coin in it. All right, we are missing like almost all the chips. That's epic. Bear Squad, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure you like and subscribe. We've got a whole bunch going on today. We are, well, not a whole lot, but we got stuff going on today. We're going to visit my most popular vending machine location, and I wanna show you some stuff real quick. For any of you who have not been here before, this is what's called a pre-kit. What I do is I go into my credit card application called MoMA through NIAX, and I see what's in the machine. I pull all the product off a shelf, put it in this bin, and we take this bin and we go fill up the machine. Now, obviously there's sales in between me filling this up and getting there, but this is the most accurate way I've found to do it and it saves the most amount of time. I'm pretty pumped about this. This just came in. Uh, we ordered this with last week's collection. This is a Inon motherboard for our only snack machine that doesn't have a credit card reader. What this does is allows us to put a credit card reader on that machine so we can see actively what's inside of it without using prediction software or anything like that. I'm pretty happy about this and can't wait to install it. Uh, that will be in next week's video, the install for this. But I'm pretty pumped about it. So I got this really cool idea from Wayne Hunter. I'm gonna have his channel linked in the description below. He does some pretty good stuff. But uh, he's got these He's got these refund request slips on his machines. So I'm gonna start doing that because that's a great idea. Man, I am ridiculously angry. I just left my keys 45 minutes away at the house. Luckily I have a spare set for the snack machine, so we're gonna start on that. But the wife's coming with the keys. A few moments later. Okay guys, on a brighter note, this is all set up, looking pretty good. This machine is crushing it. Look at that, it's nuts. And we clearly have a problem. This is ginger ale, that means that this is delivering the wrong product. So we need to fix that while we're here. Can't do anything with this machine until the wife gets here, except for we're going to put the thingamajigs on the side. So we'll take care of that and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we've got that all installed, and now we have a secondary system. All right, we are missing like almost all the chips. That's epic. All right, so we had something weird happen. Now uh, you can see there's three things of Doritos here, but here, that tells us that there's only one missing. So I'm gonna put the one in there and correct the amount, and hopefully we don't run into this problem again. All right, guys, so I don't really show this a lot, but this is Vensoft. I use this, and I also use the MoMA app with Nyax. I've got links to both of them in the description below. But uh, first I run through and enter all the Vensoft stuff, and then I run through and adjust the machine levels in my Nyax software. This is more for, like, tax purposes and inventory purposes, and the Nyax stuff, or the MoMA app, is more to just... I use it more for pre-kitting than anything else. This is a really organized pre-kit. I've been setting them up like this and they're doing really, really well. Pretty excited about it. Speeds up things quite a bit. Getting there. 12 seconds later. All right, wife just stopped by, saved the day with the keys. We also forgot this, unfortunately. She brought this too. All right, so now that I've gone through and filled it up and entered everything in Vensoft, I'm in the MoMA app and I'm filling up the MoMA app to be the same as what's actually in the machine. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Getting this out is a nightmare. That's better. This 
whole bottom is full of these things. I wonder if they're flying out from here somewhere. All right, completely out of monster. Still got some of those. We should probably switch this. Yeah. Uh, can't do it yet. Should probably switch this with the Coke. This Coke sells out every time. Monster. I'm gonna be pulling all the root beer out of the back and putting Diet Mountain Dew back there. Let's get to it. Okay, first problem, the Canada Dry thing coming out of the root beer, it's because there's actually Canada Dry in there. I put it in there wrong. So we're gonna clear it out. It's gonna turn into Mountain Dew anyway. All right, so back here we have root beer. We're gonna pull all the root beer out, and we're gonna replace it with this Mountain Dew, a Diet Mountain Dew. These guys, I think like seven different people requested it, so uh, we took the slowest mover out, and we're gonna put that in. Hopefully it moves pretty good. All right, we've got that full up. Now we're gonna fill up that and then we can start fixing our coin drop problem. All right, so we gotta change this label out with this one. By the way, if you want some of these, I get them from Ernie Brown, link in the description. To do this, you just kind of pull this dude up right there, pull your coin back out, then just slide this right out. And you can pop it out from the back side. So another issue we need to fix is this guy right here won't quite fit a dollar coin in it, but we have a mech with dollar coins in it. And it will definitely fit through that chute, so we're just gonna file this sucker down until it fits. All right, so we've got it filed down. You can see it still looks pretty good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test it. Let's see, this is the other end. We're good to go. All right, I know this is crude, but what I've done is I've cut up some cardboard and create a sleeve for this. That way, coins can't get through. I'm gonna go ahead and test it a few times and make sure we're good. First, we get to do fun stuff. Oh, this is my favorite part. All right, we got a five. Let's see if we fix the problem. solved. All right, everything is cleaned up and we are done. All fixed. Oh yeah, let's take one more look at this. Bam. Day two. All right guys, so it's now Saturday. The next day, I've gone through and counted the money. Bank's already closed, so we're not going to make it. But uh, this is $300 right here. We've got I'm not actually sure how much this is, but I know our totals. We've got the rest of the change in here. Stacked up pretty good, can't really see it. Yeah, kinda. But uh, overall, in the Royal 660 we did, can you see it? Can you see it? Not really. Pretty solid week overall. We did 190 in credit card sales, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, we definitely have got to get to a few other locations next week, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace out, Bear Squad.